Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is day number 14 of Vlogmas. I have my Advents back here. They're ready to go. Um, so let's just jump right in. We'll start with Caterpillar Cross Stitches Advent. And it says, Be Merry and Shine Bright. It's a very light on light, but it shows up a lot better on the camera. Yeah. Okay. I am going to suspect that in here is some floss. It's usually these sized ones have been floss. And oh my goodness, I was right. We've got a green and a white floss box. So that is day number 14 of the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Advent. So day number 14 of the cro uh, cross stitch. The advent that I created is this a cute little gingerbread house here. Look how cute it is. I wanted to make a um, gingerbread house um, tissue box cover for Christmas this year and I just ran out of time and did not get a chance to do it. But I created this advent on my own using different things. I made some stitch markers. I crocheted some snowflakes out of this book right here, 100 Snowflakes to Crochet by Caitlin Sanio. I bought some flavored coffee pods from Amazon. It was a variety pack. I also have been working on the 2021 Amigurumi Adventures um, Advent Crochet Along that they had back then. I was gifted it back in 2021 by Joyce. Um, yarn motivated here on YouTube. She doesn't have a channel, but and um, that's her handle. My voice is still like my voice sounds good, but um, the more I talk, the more I cough. So I try to stay hydrated. So we are just going to zoom right through this tonight, guys. So right on top is gonna to be the coffee pod. And we have a birthday cake remix here. This one sounds very interesting to me from Cold Stone Creamery. Does anybody like to go to Cold Stone Creamery? I do. I mean, what's not to love about ice cream? That's what I say. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the snowflake. It's a teeny tiny one too, guys. Teeny, teeny tiny. And this one really should have been blocked because it is like all kinds of wonky shaped. <laughs> it looks kind of like a person, don't it? Okay, so let me put it on here. So there's what it looks like. It definitely needs blocked. This one's not cute at all unblocked. But I used some of the Maxi Sweet Roll by Shep Yace. It's a um, number 10 cotton thread. And this is Capri Blue. And I used a 1.8 millimeter hook. And this one is called Frazil. Frazil is a type of flowing ice that forms in turbulent water. So I'm going to try to block him. Maybe show him off a little bit later so that he can be in like full glory like i should be ashamed to let him be seen like that okay so next down in here we will do the stitch marker oh and today look we have a little snowman a frosty the snowman sort of looks like the frosty i bought those charms from timu and then the crocheted advent item that I have is this maple leaf and I was gonna make two of these guys but I did not like making it but I'm going to make another one later on I think because everybody else has had a pair and looking at it through the camera it doesn't look as bad there's what the back looks like and I thought about making like another one and like gluing them together so that you couldn't see the stitching on either side. So I may do that too. I don't know. Well, poo. But there is my um, 
Well, the thing I used Hot Red in Chef Yay's Katona. A 2.5 millimeter hook is what I've been using on all of them. And I've been using scraps of Chef Yay's and Durable Corals. Hey, you wanna come over and say hi to everybody? No? That was Trixie. She's not very, not very friendly like the Beatles is. But, um, yeah. And I used um, some of that Artiste glitter uh, number 10 crochet thread to just do the embellishment. So that is it today, guys. Um, that is my advent for day number 14. So um, drop me um, some snowmen down in the comments below um, because we had the cute little snowman um, charm today. He's super cute. I think I want to use him on something. So yeah. So guys, I will see you guys. <laughs>